had planned to talk to him, right? And then he actually came up to me and talked to me. So then he's like, hey. I'm like, hey. I mean, I come with emotional baggage, but that's because I'm me, not because I'm goth. But anyways, let's talk about you. So I see that um, you don't have Hey, it's been a while since I've seen you. Well, not that long ago, but how have you been? Oh, um, I was literally just trying to give myself another piercing, but you want a piercing? Okay, so... <laughs> Do you want me to give you a piercing? I mean, I'm not like a professional or anything, but I have pierced for a handful of people and they turned out fine. Okay. <laughs> okay, well. Oh, what's in here? Um, hair dye. <laughs> you want your hair dye too? Do you want to skip class? Because I don't have time to give you a piercing and hair dye. Okay, skip class with me. Okay. No peer pressure, though. This was your decision. <laughs> Not me peer pressuring you. Okay. So, one piercing and hair dye coming right up. Okay, so... Okay, so what kind of piercing do you want? Can I touch your face? Let's see. I think you would look amazing with a piercing, actually. Okay, so you want this one right here, this one right there. You want like two or three piercings? Let's do it. Let me go ahead and let me go ahead and sanitize and spray on your face, okay? Oh my gosh, let me tell you. So I had this pink bottle and these kids were being so stupid. They were like, how are you goth with the pink bottle? And I was like, just because I like the color black doesn't mean I can't own anything of any other color. WTF, like, this is what we deal with. Anyways, come here. disinfected okay because we want to be safe <laughs> but yeah I was just like I can't own anything pink because I'm goth anyways so I have this is this piece of jewelry okay for you you can just put it in and then um you know, you can go to Hot Topic or anywhere else, really, Amazon, anywhere online. Etsy has some really cute ones, too. And you can buy whatever one you want, but for now, I can just use this for you. What do you owe me? We're practically friends, okay? That time I met you in the bathroom, you were super cool. This is on me. You don't have to pay me for the piercing or the hair dye or anything, okay? I got you. I'm gonna go ahead and clamp down with this, okay? And I'm going to stick, I don't even want to show you the needle. Are you scared of needles? I'm just gonna, and then I'm gonna stick the jewelry through and you look amazing, okay? So you want a belly piercing and a face piercing? Okay. Here, lift your shirt up. So I had a horrible day today, okay? Not horrible, I don't want to be dramatic, but not the best of days. I'm gonna count to three and then just like right through, okay? One, two, three, and then Okay. Do you want me to talk while I'm doing this? It's kind of weird. Here. One, two. Okay, and then let me just go ahead to 
that hurt? No? Okay. You have a high pain tolerance? Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and put the jewelry through for you, okay? And then I'll tell you about what happened today. So, there's this, this kid that I like, right? that on for you. There's this kid that I like and I finally built up the nerve to talk to him today and ooh, that is super cute on you. Very, very cute. Let's do your nose ring fact. I had planned to talk to him today. I'm just gonna go ahead and clamp that right there. And then one One, two, three. Are you okay? So, I had planned to talk to him, right? And then he actually came up to me and talked to me. So then he's like, hey. I'm like, hey. And I'm like, how's your day? You know, like making small talk with him or whatever. Just, you know, making small talk with him. Screw that on. And he goes, You're kind of cute for a goth girl. And I'm like, What the f does that mean? Like, you're kind of cute for a goth girl? What kind of backhanded compliment is that? That looks so, so, so cute on you. You want to start in your hair dye? Let's start. So, I literally didn't even tell you what color I had, and you were just down for the hair dye. <laughs> Do you know what color it is? You don't want to know what color it is. So you just want to dye it and be surprised? Okay. I like you. You're a little rebel. Okay, I'll just surprise you, okay? So let's go ahead and... Oh, so yeah, back to my story. So, I'm gonna go ahead and brush your hair out first, okay? So he's like... Yeah, you're cute for a goth girl. And I was like... What the heck does you're cute for a goth girl even mean? Like, I was giving backhanded compliment. And he's like, you know, I should try, like, dating a goth girl, you know, to see what it's like or whatever. But I don't want to deal with all of the emotional baggage that comes with you guys. And I was like... What do you mean you don't want to deal with the emotional baggage that comes with dating a goth person? Can you please explain, sir? And he's like, Oh, you know, you guys are like always into dark stuff and like you guys, you guys just seem depressed and full of sadness and anger. And I was like, Okay, breathe. I mean, we always deal with, like, these stereotypes and misconceptions, but when it's from someone that you like, it's just like, you know? It's like, dude, like, we don't come with emotional baggage. Like, I mean, I come with emotional baggage, but that's because I'm me, not because I'm goth. You know? Like, it's just really hard, like, finding someone who understands me and... It's hard to like even make friends because we're just not like in alignment and they just don't understand like the goth life, you know, and why people are goth. Like, for example, um, I'm just gonna start see checking your hair really quick and then I'm gonna go ahead and apply the color to you, okay? But I'm gonna get this 
thing out of your hair. I don't know what this is, but I'm just gonna pluck that. Pluck, 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 pluck that out of your hair. Needless to say, I just was so turned off after that because he didn't want to deal with my um, my imaginary emotional baggage from being goth. Like, so irritated. So irritated. Tell me why I brought my hair dye supplies to school. My best friend Katie wanted me to dye her hair purple today, so that's why I have this. <laughs> But um, I'm going to go ahead and start mixing this mystery color for you. this guy was like he had this misconception that like goth people could only like be friends and date goth people I'm like okay yeah we do like date other goth people and have goth friends but that's not like a fucking requirement you know what I mean like so I'm like dude you think that I literally have to be friends with only other date other goth people. I mean, I definitely don't mind that, but the ignorance is crazy. But anyways, let's talk about you. So, I see that um, you don't have the clips in today. I remember last time, right, when I saw you in the bathroom, I um, took out the clips that were in your hair because you were kind of being bullied um, for having in colorful clips for whatever reason. So stupid. And you wanted me to take them out and like redo your hair. And hold on. Gotta keep the lipstick fresh. So anyways, I don't see you with those clips in today, and I hope it's not because of those kids. I told you, you should like totally do what makes you happy, you know? And today, you're dyeing your hair a mystery color. What's going on? Are you like trying to experiment with your look a little bit, or what are you feeling inside? definitely understand that. You should definitely experiment and express how you feel. I mean, we're literally a walking expression of ourselves, right? So definitely play with your hair and your makeup. I'm literally so excited for you. Oh, you feel like your family is going to judge you for it? I mean, don't they always, like, they're literally so judgmental and they judge you for everything, right? But it's important that you express yourself as long as, you know, it doesn't hurt other people. I mean, you're just changing your hair color, piercing. I mean, to me, it's just self-expression. I'm gonna go ahead and get your bangs as well. Okay. This is a temporary hair dye, okay? So it will not be a permanent color. I don't want to damage your hair and I don't want you to be stuck with a color you don't like. It is not a permanent, okay? So you can definitely, definitely go back to your real color, your natural color after about two to three weeks, okay? But it 
will stick around for two to three weeks. So like if your mom or your dad don't like it, just tell them it'll be gone in two to three weeks. Okay, I'm just gonna grab your hair. That piercing that I gave you honestly looks amazing on you, okay? It looks flawless on you, like so natural, like you were born with the piercing in your face. I love it. I feel like this hair is gonna bring out like a new side of you and this piercing and I'm here for it. I'm gonna get this side as well. Just go ahead and do So if you end up really liking this color, I can dye it again for you, but permanently this time we can get permanent hair dye. Uh-huh. Oh my gosh. So <laughs> we still have like several classes to go. And you're gonna come back with a different hair color. I feel like one of your teachers is gonna pick up on it. Have they seen you today? They're gonna be like, earlier you had blonde hair and now you have purple, red, blue hair. I'm not telling you what color it is. Oh, you feel like you go unnoticed? Like no one pays attention to you anyways? Stop. I pay attention to you. I've literally always noticed you. I've literally always noticed you. Since the first day you came to this school, you always stood out to me. I mean, it's literally the opposite. The other kids literally all blended in, but you, you stood out to me. So don't ever say that about yourself, okay? You are special, don't forget that. I know, it, it sounds cliche, corny, whatever you want to call it, but you are. You have something different about you, and I really like it. So, okay, so now what you're going to do is... I have this shower cap I'm going to put over your head. And you're gonna leave it on for like 15 minutes like 15 minutes or so you're definitely gonna miss like two class periods um no i'm going to class i'm not getting in trouble for you um just like sit text or whatever on your phone and then like rinse it out and then go to class okay okay there we go So your mystery color will be revealed to you soon. You will find out what color it is. But again, it is not permanent, so you'll be fine. I know we still need to hang out. Do you want to like do um, like a sleepover or something one day? I think it'd be super duper fun, actually. Like. We could totally just like chill, eat snacks, watch movies, listen to music, chit chat. You're totally cool. I literally love your vibes and your energy. Are you down? I know, I've just been like really, really busy lately, like with school and everything. But um, well, we'll get around to it. I'm sure we'll get around to it. Let that sit wash your hair out and uh text me a picture of your gorgeous hair when you're done okay thank me later <laughs> let me get out of here and uh put my jacket on because clearly this is not allowed in school but whatever just send me to detention i'd rather i'm a little rebel okay so can't you tell <laughs> but um yeah text me the picture of your hair okay bye